okay this is how I find the middle of the shirt what I did was I went to the ironing board and I ironed the um, onesie flat the you know it's right side I didn't turn it over or anything like that then one of the things that I did was I did fold it in half and then I had my little crease I know I'm doing it kind of sloppy but you know I'm new with this video stuff so I'm trying to show you guys how I do it so anyway I went and I ironed it straight then when I came back to the table I had my crease and then when I got here to the crease I took my ruler went straight down and I used this pen this is a um it's a heat pen I don't know what you call it but it's once you iron it this goes away it'll disappear the ink so you know don't it's not a permanent pen or anything like that so what I did was I just put the ruler down and then I just drew my line now one of the things I did I made a mistake in a shirt that I made previously the applique and everything came down too much it was like down here I really kind of wanted a little higher so what I did was so that way when I go to the machine I can make sure that the applique starts to stitch where I want it to I did about an inch from the neckline so as you see this is about an inch drew a little dot there then I just drew a little line across this way I can tell how you know it's gonna stitch now I'm going to stabilize it one of the things that I have is I have this stabilizer this is sticky stabilizer um I've seen a couple of people use this stabilizer I don't know if this will work very well so I guess we'll I guess we'll see um I also have cutaway stabilizer and I have tearaway stabilizer this is the sticky stabilizer and I'm going to try it so how I'm going to do it is I'm going to turn this shirt inside out and you can see the line through it so I'm just gonna turn it inside out and you know you're not going to embroider here because this is the tag so this is the back of the shirt this is the front so this is where you need to place your stabilizer and one of the things that I learned about embroidery is that preparation is so key if you don't take the time to properly stabilize and hoot your project you're not going to be happy with the results and me i am like probably the most impatient person you can ever meet those that know me know that's true because i'm always like Andale, give it to me ahora, ahora, ahora. but uh you know one thing for sure just taught me to be patient so anyway i am going to take this and I'm going to peel it off. I'm going to put the stabilizer on the shirt. I'm hoping the stabilizer works. Um, see, it peels right off. And see how sticky it is? So this sticks to the shirt. And I'm going to fold it. Because I don't think I need the whole stabilizer for this design and I'm going to just place it on the shirt like so that way it's on now I don't like to waste stuff because I'm like super cheap I don't want the design to go past this stabilizer pull it out a little bit more but I don't think I think this is good enough um and I'm going to cut this stabilizer off so that way I can use this for something else. Um, I don't know what, but be careful you don't cut the shirt <laughs> when you do this, you know, or if you do it the way I do it. Um, okay, this is garbage. Put this out. Now you got this nice and neat. And now that this is on here, um, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it 
inside out but you know what i don't know if this is going to be enough stabilizer so sometimes i see people put one piece of stabilizer in a shirt or two um this peels off so i'm going to put some tearaway stabilizer on here too so be right back okay so now that you have the sticky stabilizer on here and I'm going to do is I'm going to take regular stabilizer and I'm going to put it on here because what we're going to do is we're going to float the onesie on the hoop so stabilizers on side inside the hoop I'm going to do this here um, yeah. put this in hold on there we go Tighten your hoop. So that way it's nice and tight. Okay. Take my grid. This is really important because it helps you to line up everything. Um, pencil. Little dots here. I always use the dots. There you go. So you have your dots. One here, one here, one here, and here, and here. If you want, you can take a ruler and go all the way across if you want, which sometimes that helps a little more visual. Um, kind of prefer it because sometimes, you know, it's just three dots and you just want it to be a little better there you go all right so you got your stuff now you want to this can get kind of tricky because what it is is this is the back this is the front this you're gonna stick to this okay and then when you start to embroider you're gonna have to you know maneuver this and then do it in such a way that um you don't move the fabric from the hook it's funny because you see these cute little outfits man let me tell you it's a pain in the ass to do this stuff because it is it's a lot of work and people you know i have to tell you i appreciate the folks that sew now because of this because of me trying to learn because it's like you don't realize the amount of preparation and hours and the materials that it takes just to make one little outfit so anyway i use this which is the silky kk 2000 this temporary heat um temporary heat temporary adhesive and i just sprayed on here and I know probably people are saying, what are you doing? You're on your mat. Yeah, I know, but eh, you clean it. All right, so can't be about everything. So I try to line up this line, and I hope you see it. There's a, the line that you drew on the shirt. Try to line it up with the line that's on the, the hoop. So it's lined up. And then once you have it lined up, Smish it down. And then, this is the fun part. It's where you try to figure out how are you going to maneuver, because you can't do it from here. Well, how are you going to really, uh, you know, you have to try to really some people pin it and I think that's what I'm going to do too. So let me let me pin it inside. I want to pin it here and I also want to pin it at the bottom. Um this is like really hard to do. This is my first one. So you guys are watching me as I do this. So I'm going to pin the onesie in here. Man, if this comes out good, I'm gonna be like, wow. I'll be impressed with myself. Let's say that. Um, 
I'm gonna pin the bottom. You want to be careful. You don't want to tear the stabilizer because I've done that where I've put so much pressure that I tore the stabilizer and then start over again. All right, so you got this in there. So now let's take it to the machine and let's see how we're going to embroider this baby. Okay. Um, now I placed the design on my USB. And I have it. This is the P, the, um, I'm sorry, the SC 1900 Brother Embroidery Machine. So I'm going to go into my USB and I'm going to look at the design that I got. And I'm going to set it up. And edit, embroidery. Good, this is perfect. Um, it's going to do the first stitch. I, I'm not changing any of the colors because I kind of know what I'm going to do. This is The first stitch is the placement stitch. Um, I'm going to do the outline in red, so I'm going to keep my red thread in here. Then after the placement stitch is the tack down stitch. That's where I'm going to put my fabric down. Then I'm going to cut it out. And then it's going to place it. I'm not going to do the blue. I want the red. I, I think the red's going to look nice to outline it. And then I'm going to do the red in the um, the name as well. So I'm going to put my uh, onesie in here. And you have to make sure you place it correctly. Here we go. Um, it's hooked up. I'm going to, you have to really maneuver the fabric so that you know where you're going to stitch. Um, first, I want to make sure that I know, I'm going to push it back. I want to look at the machine and I want to see where is the top of this J going to be. Like that's the highest point. And I want to make sure, like I had said before in another shirt, the applique was a little too low. So what I'm going to do is you press here, you know, let me show you again. In this machine, oof, the middle with the little dots going around and stuff, this is where it's going to show you where it's going to go. Like if I hit this, oops, sorry, I, I didn't hit the button first. Here you go, see? It's going to stitch. That's the end of the square, right? Then... Down here, this is the end, okay? Now I wanna know where's the top. This is the top of, oh, it's gonna stretch, I think. Okay, but I do see, if you notice here, see, this is the line. Oh God, I hope you see it. Let me see, do you see it? I don't think you do, but, oh, let me, um, move it a little bit here so you can see here see I moved it to the to the top oh here we go all right and the needles right here and the line is right there so it's gonna that's the top of the applique which is good I'm okay with that okay so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start this placement stitch right now okay so hopefully let me see if I leave it here You'll be able to see, I'm hoping. Okay, so I'm gonna start this so that it can do the placement stitch, okay? So I'm gonna put down my thing and let's do placement. Oops, I gotta finish. Ugh. Sorry guys, okay, you gotta hit embroider and stuff. Let me go back so you guys can see. This is where I hit this, and this is where it's going to show it. What it does is it, it starts, you know, the little red, the square. It'll show you where, where you're going, where you're positioned, right? Then you hit OK. Then you have to hit the button embroidery. Once you hit embroidery, then you're good to go. Now I'm going to hit the uh, placement stitch, and let's see how that goes. And as you see, I have to maneuver the... The onesie. I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't get caught in the needle. So you can 
really got to babysit this. bottom of the of the um, applique all right I'm gonna take it out so that you can see what it looks like all right this is the placement stitch see hope you can see it and what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to take this fabric okay and I'm going to put it over this J and the machine is going to sew again so that it could hold down this fabric. So I'm gonna put this back in the machine. I just wanted to take it out so I could show you. Normally I would leave it in there and just put the fabric in, but I want you to see how that J came out. Okay, now I don't need that much fabric for this. Um I'm just gonna cut some fabric here. Um, yeah, I'll put it right here. That's good enough. Okay. So make sure that you let's see if you can see. Oh, oh, oh! So you gotta fall right off the table. Okay, there you go. Okay. See where I put the fabric? I always try to put like a character or something so you can see it. Um. I know this is really hard for you guys to see. I'm trying to do it so that you guys can at least get an idea. See, so you, you just place the fabric down. Um, make sure that the fabric covers the whole outline. Okay, so let's see. I got to push it up a little bit here. And, yeah, it's a little down, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Because the whole thing is, I always try to at least get a character in there so you can see the picture of a character. So it looks cute. Okay. There you go. Alright. Oh, sink or swim. I got it down, but... Yeah, I think this will be okay. Um, does it look all the way okay? Yeah. All right, here you go. Sink or swim. Here you go. It's going to be cute regardless. It's going to look cute. All right. This is the tack down stitch. Where is it? The No, the first one's the placement. This is tacking down. Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. So it's going to do the same thing, but it's just going to tack down the stuff. down the letter J Ooh, got a little worried there Let me, okay see how fabric is a little twisted here I'm gonna push it back Eesh. okay let's start it over again that was close that would not have been nice. Okay. I would have been pissed. I would have been like, ah, oh my God, I messed up on one team. Okay. All right. Here comes the J. Take it out and you're gonna cut it out and just so you can see see the J coming out so usually here what you do now is let's see I'm gonna do this right here okay okay lost you guys for a little bit over there so these are applique scissors these are pretty cool because what it does is it helps you to cut very close to the stitches but you don't want to cut the stitches okay you don't want to cut the stitches but it kind of like goes underneath so that you can go around so 
It's pretty cool. Um, Okay, um, you want to get as close to the stitch as possible without damaging the garment. So as you see, this is, oh, can you see it? I don't think you can. Oh, there you go. See, that's as close as I stitched it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in the machine and I'm going to do the final stitch around the lettering. So here we go. Not supposed to see any white thread but you see a little bit but uh, it's all right i gotta clean my machine i got a film that's popping yet i'm not very good at cleaning the machine i guess i'm gonna have to start getting the habit up Here's the finished product. I personally am not happy with the result, it, but it's my area. My errors, I mean. Ay, Dios mío. Anyway, let me show you what I think is wrong with, with this. And, and see, the thing is, when you do embroidery, you know like what to find. Um, you know, wrong with it. The first thing, sorry, I thought I, I had it in here. Okay, let me show you what I think is wrong with the design. The first thing is my tension. My tension on the machine was all wrong. As you can see, you should not see any white. Okay, you should just see the color red. It should just be, so that means that, that the tension in my machine is all wrong. The other thing that I see is if you look at the O, okay, see there's stretch. And I don't know if that has to do with not enough stabilizer or the stitches. So if there's anybody out there that does embroidery and knows how I can prevent this, please comment on my video and let me know because I would love to know. And I know this is just the uh, water stabilizer can just peel this off see and I'm sure I have some in here should have washed it off and stuff this stuff peels off and it also comes off in the wash I already ironed it um, I am gonna package it I am gonna give it to to Angie I know she's gonna love it um, even though it's really not perfect but she knows I made it for her grandbaby so 